Before you get started, we wanted to provide you with a quick overview of Scribe Online Basics. After you've created an account and signed into Scribe Online, you will be at the Manage Solutions page. The Manage Solutions page is made up of four basic areas the Administrative area, Scribe Online Toolbar, the Footer, Solutions. From the administrative area you have Organization List, where you can create and edit an organization. An organization represents the company that is using the Scribe Online solution. If you've been invited to multiple organizations, you can select which organization you want to work with from the list. My Account is where you can view and edit information about your login account such as company name, phone, and address information. as well as manage your password information. Invitations allow you to accept or decline an invitation that has been sent to you to join an organization. Help has links to Scribe Online Support Forum, the Help System, and other support related resources. Moving over to the Scribe Online Toolbar, you have five tools available to you. Solutions are where you set up and manage integrations. The Solutions page provides information about the status of all of your Scribe Online solution instances. Scribe offers two services on the Scribe Online platform Replication Services, also known as RS, and Synchronization Services, known as SIS. RS allows you to replicate selected entities from a data store or online system to a Microsoft SQL Server database. SIS allows you to synchronize data between various online and on-premise data stores. You can create, edit, or delete a solution. The Run Now feature will appear only when the solution is not running. Use this feature to activate the selected solution. The View History will show you when the solution ran and will show you information about the rows that had errors. Use the Solution Wizard to create or edit a solution. You can enter general information and select or install an agent. You can also create maps. With a map, you select the source and target data, the entities you want to work with, and create links between source and target fields. Using the Formula Editor, you can use functions and expressions to transform data. If you need to work with more than one entity, you can create multiple maps within a solution instance or you can create multiple solutions. From the Maps folder you can create, edit, or delete a map. Additional information about any of the existing maps can be viewed in the lower part of the page. You can change the order of existing maps by using the Move Up and Move Down functionality. The Import or Export feature will allow you to save all of your current maps in a single XML file. Exported maps enable you to reuse and distribute your work, shortening the time to deploy solutions in other environments. Drilling into the Maps feature, you will notice that you will be able to add or edit the necessary source and target connections, and set up the filters that will help you focus in on the exact data you are looking for. From the Fields folder, you can create links between source and target data. But the real power is the ability to create simple or complex formulas on the fly. By utilizing the drag and drop feature and the formula editor, you will have access to any library, operator, source fields, or constants to quickly build formulas. And you can also determine how often you'd like to run the solution instance and whether you want to run the solution manually or set it up to run automatically. In Agents, you can install new agents or change the name of an agent. You can also see what solutions each agent is a part of. Scribe Online has two types of agents available to the user. The Cloud Agent requires no installation, is hosted by Scribe, and is used for cloud-to-cloud -cloud integrations.
The on-premise agent is used with the replication service and with the synchronization service when either the source or target connections use data that resides on-premise, such as text files or ODBC data sources. Connections list all of your connections. A connection contains the login and other parameters you need to connect to any data store used by Scribe Online. The Connections tool will allow you to create a new connection or edit and delete an existing connection. Once you create a connection, you can use it in multiple solutions simply by picking it from the list. There's no need to keep re-entering the connection information for each solution. When the schema information in your connection changes, use the Refresh Metadata feature to update the metadata stored for that connection. Moving down the toolbar, we find Lookup Tables which allows you to create an association between list of values in your source and target data, such as a product name in the source and its product code in the target. You can create a new lookup table, edit an existing lookup table, or delete a lookup table. In Users, you can invite others to join this organization, either as a user or as an administrator. For example, this allows you to give access to your Scribe Online system to other workers in your organization or consultants, whomever you might need to help with your integration work. When those people no longer need access, you can remove them from your organization. They will still have a user login to Scribe Online, but they will no longer be able to access your Scribe Online organization and its information. The footer is located at the bottom of the Scribe Online page. From here, you find quick links to help and support, provide feedback as well as to have access to Scribe Online Knowledge Base, complete access to social media tools, and the ability to find out more about Scribe the company.